Already during the times of Genghis Khan, people used to say, from the Khan down to the ordinary farmer, all get up early and live among the cattle in the fields. Even 800 years later, nature and animals still determine man's rhythm. If pure Kashmir is what you're looking for, you have to travel far. Here at the border of Inner Mongolia, a Bavarian businessman has made his vision become reality. A vision emerged from a dream. After my apprenticeship in the country, I came to Munich, where I got in contact with Kashmir for the first time. And after four more weeks, it was my dream to have a Kashmir sweater myself. Today, Andreas Knezovich does not only have a Kashmir sweater, but a whole Kashmir manufacture, FTC, Fair Trade Kashmir, products of the highest quality and fair trade. On the remote high plains of China in Inner Mongolia, one of the world's great treasures comes into being, white gold, Kashmir. Fashionable luxury products and social ecological responsibility. That's what FTC is all about. Jutta and Andreas Knezovich founded the Swiss company in 2003. With his Chinese partner, Chao Chui, Andreas has made the vision become reality. FTC has goat farms in China and a factory. The secret of success also lies in the origin of the partners. We both grew up in the country. My partner Chui has lived with Kashmir goats all his life. I spent my childhood and youth in a little village in Waging am See in Upper Bavaria in southern Germany. Here living in tune with nature comes naturally, so to speak. There's no difference to any other country. Dealing with animals, respecting them and the people around you is the cornerstone of a partnership. Where I come from, many people breed goats. It's very simple. Two people develop a relationship with each other, but a relationship also develops between man and goat. I feed them often and take them out for a walk in the fields. This is why they are happy to see me. Together with his assistant, Viola Lin, Andreas Knezovich visits the place where Chao Chui was born. His grandmother still lives here. He grew up in a cave house. He was neither able to read nor write. He actually had no school education at all and spent his childhood and youth as a goat herd. From her favorite spot, the 92-year-old looks across the FTC farm. It's a special place. The farmers of this area choose places like these as their final resting place. The mountains in the back protect them. A river, a symbol of wealth, runs through the valley below. For millennia, Kashmir goats have been around in Central Asia. The rough climate is a reason for their noble fur. During summer, it protects them from sun and dust, and it keeps them warm during those icy winter months. The warming layer of hair is very close to the skin. It's the most valuable part of the fur, Kashmir. When the winter is very long and cold, like this year, the raw material is probably even better. A special event makes the farmers of the region pay the FTC farm a visit. An unusual gift awaits them an animal bred for generations. 
Each farmer of the area has received an FTC billy goat as a present, so they can also continue breeding with that system. We get something back naturally. We buy the raw material at a price in line with the market plus surcharge. This way the farmer has significantly better goats. He also has a higher income and he's doing better. They're also motivated since the wool is simply more beautiful. To the farmers, the billy goat and the cooperation with FTC is an important step towards a brighter future. I'm 60 years old, and this is my home country. I left this area for 10 years, but now I live here again. Life in the country can certainly not be compared to life in the city. Our life is very simple, but we have enough to eat and clothes to wear. Since the FTC farm has come here, our lives and surroundings have changed in a positive way. We don't really know yet what this means in terms of our income. Let's take my goats as an example. When I sell cashmere to the farm, I get about 10,000 renminbi per year, and that's about 1,200 euros. And thanks to the new billy goat, I can also breed now. When I'm able to sell about 20 billy goats per year, I earn another 40,000 renminbi, which is another 4,800 euros. With this, I can feed my family. The farmers' living conditions have a crucial impact on the philosophy of FTC. I wanted to know about their origins, how these farmers live, how they're doing, what their family structures and social environments are like, so I know exactly what's going on. This is how my visit to Inner Mongolia came about. I lived with farmer families here, and this is why I came to the conclusion that when you're dealing with limited raw materials, you have to take care of the people. Otherwise, you don't deserve to sell or manufacture this product. The FTC billy goat gives us farmers a positive outlook. Its cashmere is of a much better quality than the one from other goats, and the quantity is also higher. The young ones will also yield better quality. This gives us farmers more security to make us stick to what we're doing. I have four children, two sons and two daughters. They all live in the city and study there. I'm absolutely sure when the goat business keeps developing so well and when we earn more money, our children will come back. They won't want to live in the city anymore. In order to do something against the drift to the cities, FTC has set a sign already in 2006, the foundation of Hope School for the farmer's children. I had the idea much earlier, since I visited the countryside, met farmers who said their children were leaving. They had no future, so I asked why. Clear answer, because they have no school education, no perspectives. 
und weil sie keine Perspektive haben. Ja, wir haben eigentlich dann so we decided to start building a school to give the farmers a better school education and a perspective for their future. Die Farmer dann auch eine bessere Ausbildung haben und auch eine Perspektive haben für die Zukunft. Meanwhile, FTC has expanded the school project in the area. More than 1,000 children and youngsters get a school education at the new and larger Swiss International FTC Kashmir World Hope School. My opinion is very clear. When we are in a luxurious situation today, and also sell luxury products that actually have an agricultural background, it comes naturally to take care of that and to know how the producers of the raw material are doing. Many children dream of moving to the cities, but they don't know what they're going to run into. I've already said back then, it was in 2005, I think. It won't take more than 10 to 20 years to make the children and youngsters appreciate the countryside even more. But in order to get to that point, you have to provide the respective infrastructure and education possibilities, of course. FTC has sustainably changed life in the region. Moreover, the company has created something that didn't exist there before, secure income. Seventy percent of the Kashmir produced worldwide comes from China, another twenty percent from Mongolia. The FTC farms are located in the province of Shaanxi, in Inner Mongolia. From the very beginning, it has been the philosophy of FTC to produce at the place of origin of this noble raw material. Each of the FTC farms can handle a maximum of 5,000 goats. FTC attaches special importance to how the animals are fed. The farms have pastures growing special grass types. The higher the quality of the fodder, the more beautiful and rich the goat's fur will be. springtime, the time the whole year is focused on. As soon as the weather gets warmer, the goats shed their fur. We comb the goats once a year, in line with the moon phase calendar, after the festival for the dead, which is around April. If you want to do this work, you really have to love these goats. With love, you can comb better. Without love, you can't do it. If you really like what you're doing, you won't run into problems. This isn't so easy. You have to make sure not to pull too strongly and to get the right angle. It's easier this way. This profession has been around for a long time. 
Already my ancestors have combed Kashmir goats. Depending on the size of the goat, I need about an hour. During this time I comb off about one kilo of raw material. Something very special is baby Kashmir. It's the most delicate of all and outstandingly exclusive. Baby goat hair is much shorter but also thinner. We're talking of a micron number of between 11.5 and 12.5 micron here, while our Kashmir goats have an average of 15 micron. Baby Kashmir can only be won during a goat's first year of life. That's what makes it so valuable. On the FTC premises, with a size of over 100,000 square meters, the goats are taken care of all day. But the farm has more to offer. This farm is really something special. Usually where goats are bred, there are only goats. No pigs, no market garden, but things are different here. In our greenhouse we grow many different kinds of vegetables, such as eggplants, bell pepper, tomatoes and also spinach. Other greenhouses don't have that much variety. What's very important is that we grow plants in an environment-friendly manner, which means that the food is of very high quality, something which is particularly appreciated by the Chinese. The typical food of the region consists mainly of vegetables, meat and cereals. The latter is used almost every day by the female cooks to make Chinese bread, rather like Bavarian dampf noodles. Andreas Knezovic has soon realized that food doesn't only have to be of high quality and needs to be prepared in a traditional manner. To the Chinese employees, it's of great importance that dinner is served on time. The FTC factory is located in a medium-sized city halfway between Inner Mongolia and Beijing. At the production site, FTC is one of the biggest taxpayers and the most important employer in the area. Nearly 500 people work at the factory. Many of them live in apartments on the company premises. There are two points that make our company really special. The first is, we have our own farms. The second one is, we have our own warehouse with a constant temperature and humidity. Other Kashmir companies don't have farms of their own and couldn't cultivate them. We have full control over our raw material and can store it under best possible conditions until further processing. This distinguishes us from other Kashmir manufacturers. At the combing works, about 600 kilograms of wool are processed every day. Revolving brushes comb the raw material up to 11 times. Nearly half of that wool is left as delicate Kashmir. Jutta Knezovic is the company's creative director and therefore in charge of FTC's colors. We specify a color. The color is adjusted here with the respective color shades. Then we get these lab dips. These are inspected by the design team and the technician in Switzerland, followed by the confirmation that this really is the color. The raw material is dyed based on this formula. Our co-workers here carry through a final inspection. 
FTC uses a special method for dyeing the wool. The flake is dyed as a whole. This process is time consuming, but this way the cashmere stays soft. The natural dye comes only from Germany and Switzerland. Cashmere production is the synergy between traditional craftsmanship and high-tech. At FTC, the interplay of various cultures comes on top. Designs from Switzerland are technically put into effect in China. State-of-the-art spinning machines turn the flake into yarn. Today we have state-of-the-art technology. We have spinning technology from Italy, staking machines from Germany, who are world market leaders in the field of knitting machines. So in this respect, it doesn't make any difference where you produce. It's just a matter of how you produce, with whom and the culture behind it. I'm currently working on a lady sweater. I'm sewing on the sleeves. This is a very traditional handcraft. Only the machines are modern. <laughs> FTC is particularly proud of the inlaid work. Elaborate patterns integrated into the mesh structure. Very demanding work. The knitters have to think for themselves a lot. They have to stick to the chart. They have to count every single loop. If you make a Bambi, for instance, as you can see here, with so many different little spots, each loop needs to be perfect, which is very time-consuming. A knitter needs a whole day for a single Bambi. Since the wool has become firm through the spinning process, the completed items are washed. This way the fine hairs stand up again. The goods remain fluffy. Afterwards, each item needs to be brought into shape again. Cashmere is en vogue. Cashmere is sought after and exclusive. The effect? There is more and more fake cashmere on the market. Estimates are that three to four times as many cashmere products are being sold than there is raw material. Recently, we have received some samples. The outcome of our analysis was that one out of four samples were cashmere. One was cattle or yak, one was made of sheep wool, and one was of really poor quality that just can't be used. Quality assurance has top priority at FTC. In a final step, the products are tested for perfect processing. Careful handiwork across all steps guarantee for the extraordinary processing of the products. Every year, FTC releases four new collections. Cashmere is the most valuable natural material in fashion. The Swiss company turns this noble fabric into highly fashionable products, featuring unusual details. Today, only 10 years after being founded, FTC ship their products to luxury fashion boutiques all over the world. Oh, oh, oh.
All we want is to become the world's best Kashmir company. It's not as easy as it sounds, of course, but we can achieve that. However, this doesn't necessarily mean we want to become the biggest, we just want to become the best, dealing with all those who are involved in an honest and decent manner, based on mutual respect. Thank you.